People have always told stories around the fire. It makes us human. But how do we choose the story to tell? How do we know that others understand us? In September 2013, Paolo Fraternali, Stefano Mancini, and the artists of Laboratory 43 in Forte Marghera met with documentary film director Andy Scott to tell the story of American outsider artist Jefferson Waller. Why? What does Waller's work tell us? Andy and Paolo met through social media and became friends while discussing Waller's work, work that Andy had documented a few years earlier in his film Finding Nevermore. Social media cannot produce understanding as profound as personal interaction, however. So Andy and his wife Carla came to Venice to meet Paolo and the Lab 43 artists, to interview them, to find out why Waller's work was important for them. They found themselves to be part of the same family, a family of understanding. Describe meeting Paolo, your relationship with him, uh, where it all started, as you know. Yeah. And the Roy. Okay. We met first time in uh, 1993. Uh, he was a teacher, and I was a student. young generation would be interested to see the Jefferson work because we are in Italy and uh, we have a lot of uh, museum art you know, in Italy we have a lot of art but we we don't have outside and the people can uh, be interested to uh, uh, have a, a new vision of uh, what art can be to you or, you know, so let's do it, we have to do it, we need to do it. Laboratory 43 is a contemporary artistic printmaking lab based in Forte Marghera, Italy on the Venetian mainland. The artists of Laboratory 43 are professors, students, and independents looking for freedom of expression and communication. Through teaching, research into non-toxic printmaking methods, workshops, and events, Lab 43 works to develop and preserve means of human expression. Using pencil and paper, 
Jefferson Waller dropped out of the Society of Standards and took to the road to find humanity. His mission was to travel the United States to discover its people and connect with them. Connect with their icons, with their feelings, with their present and their past, like a visual troubadour. He's a participant in the story, a protagonist in the play. Today, art is dominated by institutions and markets, communication by packages, strategies, and technologies. This is particularly true in Italy, but it can be seen everywhere in contemporary society. Where is the fire, and where are the stories of our humanity? Maybe this is why Waller resonates among the Lab 43 artists. Waller's art is not an object for sale. It's his story. He's a musician, a teacher, a student, an advocate of freedom. Freedom from institutions and markets, packages, strategies, and technologies. Freedom to tell stories around the fire. Freedom to be human. Freedom to be human.